Hi everybody, it's Lori Wetzel here with the next installment of Tech Tip Tuesdays. And this week I'm going to share with you a very quick, simple tip that will save you some time. And in working with students, it may save them some frustration. So uh, please feel free to share this with your kids as necessary. What I'm going to do is go ahead and tap on Settings. And within settings, I'm going to tap on general and I'm going to scroll up until I see this area that is called keyboard. I'm going to go ahead and tap on keyboard. And what I want you to take notice of is this shortcuts area right here. You'll notice that there is a shortcut here that was added by Apple on the iPad. So essentially what happens here is if you were to type the letters OMW, on my way would automatically pop up and all you would have to do is press the space bar to make the entire phrase show up instead of just that little shortcut. So what we're going to do is add a shortcut for email because that is something that you may find yourself typing out quite often and in the case of our students they are finding that they are having to type that out quite often and it's very easy for them to make mistakes. All you need to do is tap on Add New Shortcut. And when you tap on that, the phrase is the full-blown phrase that you want to create the substitution for. So I'm going to type in my full Fraser email address. And the shortcut is the whatever you want to have to type in order for your email to show up. So in this case, I'm going to type in the word email and tap on Save. Just to show you how this works, I am going to get out of my settings and I'm going to go to Safari and just like our students would, I'm going to go to web-based SkyDrive. And one of the very first things that SkyDrive does is prompt for your email account. And in the case of our students, they are typing in first name dot last name grad year at students with an s dot fraser k12 dot org. They're leaving off the s. They're putting the dot in the wrong place. Just general errors that are causing them and you frustration. So now here's all you have to do. You type in the word email and notice what pops up. That's my keyboard shortcut. So I'm going to hit the space bar to accept that that's the shortcut I want. And this is the only thing you got to be careful of. Space back one space. And then you would go ahead and type in your password to get into SkyDrive just like you always do. You don't have to do this just for email. You can create keyboard shortcuts for whatever phrases you find yourself typing in often. For instance, I have students that email me a lot and I happen to have my email feeding to my phone. I have a shortcut that all I have to do is type in the letters MW and Mrs. Wetzel pops up so that I am appropriately signing an email to a student. I hope this was a quick and easy tip for you. Again, feel free to share it with kids. It's a great time saver and one that eliminates frustration for both you and them. If you have any questions, you know where to find me. Have a great day.